What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Now that we have got the One UI 8, I'm pretty sure all of you guys are enjoying the new features on your S25 series. And those of you who haven't got the update yet, especially the previous gen phones, you guys are eagerly waiting for this update. Now, as soon as you get the update, there are a first few things that you need to do and check out on your Galaxy phone. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about exactly that. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. The first one is secure folder sharing option on the sharing card. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the gallery application here. And uh, let's say I pick up a few uh, images or videos here and I tap on share. Now here on the sharing card, we don't see the secure folder option here. We will not be able to directly share these files onto the secure folder right from the uh, sharing card. And if you're not seeing the secure folder option here, all you need to do is just go to the secure folder application and here tap on three dot button and tap on settings. Now here on the settings, scroll down and tap on other security settings. And this is where you will find this option, show secure folder applications in share panel. When you enable this, now let's go back to the gallery here and I've selected these images, let me tap on share. Now you can see we have got personal and secure folder. Now, if you want to share these images or videos through secure folder options, you'll be able to share all those files through the secure folder options. This is how you get the secure folder option back on the sharing card. Now let's move on. Let's go ahead and check out the second one. That is the predictive back gestures. Now in my previous One UI 8 video, many of you guys have commented saying that you're not able to see predictive back gestures on your device. It's, uh, it's disabled and you're not able to find that option. Let me tell you where you can get this option back. Let's go to the settings. I'll tap on advanced features and here you need to tap on labs. This is where you will see back swipe preview. Show a preview of the screen you will go back to when you start swiping from the edge of the screen. Now you can see I have already enabled this. When I swipe here to go back to the previous page, you can see this uh, previous page is visible right here. So you know that where exactly you're going to land when you go back here. Now is this feature a really useful feature or not? Drop a comment and let me know. I always felt that this feature is of no use, but yeah, it uh, definitely looks good. The animation or let's say transition effect when you go back to the previous page, it really looks nice. But do you really want to see the previous page before you swipe? I, I don't think anybody would be swiping towards the edge of the screen to just peep into the previous window and then go back. That is something which is not really necessary, but looks pretty nice. This has always been there on the iPhones, on the iOS, and now we have got this on the Android phones as well. Drop a comment and let me know whether you need this feature or not. Uh, first of all, it doesn't work on all the applications. If it works on all the third-party applications as well, it will, it will be nice. On iOS, on many of the third-party applications also, it does work, but on Android, as of now, it works only on the settings menu and maybe on some of the uh, system applications. That is something we need to explore and check, but do drop a comment and let me know whether you prefer this feature or not. Now let's move on. The next feature which got enabled after getting One by 8 is Google Finance. We have the Google Sports where we get to see the live sports scores on the uh, on the now bar as well as on the uh, live notifications. And now we have got Google Finance which will also be visible on the now bar and the uh, live notifications. Let me show you where exactly you can check this option. Go to settings and tap on lock screen and AOD and tap on now bar. Now here you can see we have got Google Finance and then we have got Sports from Google. Now what you can do here is you can actually customize what exactly you want to see, what information you want to see from maybe specific stocks or maybe from specific uh, stock markets. You can set that up, you can customize it right here. Let me go to Google Finance here and now you can see we have got this option Google Finance Settings. Let me tap on this. Now this is where you'll be able to add uh, what you want to see. You can see we have got some uh, share prices here which is listed and we have got NASDAQ tag, nifty, etc. If you want to add more, you can just tap on plus button and you can add the portfolio name here and add it. That information will be shown on the live uh, on the uh, live notification or now bar. So that is how you'll be able to customize this. So that is something you can check out after getting the one UI 8. The next feature you want to enable is very interesting. That is called private album. And this is a hidden feature on your Galaxy phone on one UI 8. It is not visible by default. So what you need to do is you need to first enable the gallery labs on your Galaxy phone. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's go to gallery application, tap on menu, tap on settings. Scroll all the way down. Here you will see gallery labs, which I have already enabled. To enable this, tap on about gallery and keep tapping on this version number multiple times. You will be able to see gallery labs right over here. Now, some of you guys are saying that you don't see gallery labs anymore on your Galaxy phones One UI 8. 
Uh, I'm not very sure uh, why it has disappeared, but you can try it again, or maybe after getting the next security patch, you can try that uh, again. You will be able to, you may be able to enable the gallery labs. So now let's go ahead and check out how we can uh, set this private album. I already have the gallery labs here. Let me tap on this. Now here we have got this new feature, private album. Now it does say this feature is available for One UI 7.0, but on some of the devices running on One UI 7.0, you still do not have this particular feature, but it might come to the One UI 8. If you already have One UI 8, you will be able to see this feature. And you may be able to see on some of the devices running on One UI 7 as well. But if you have got One UI 8, you will definitely see this option. Go ahead and enable private album. The moment you enable it, you will be able to see, uh, you'll be able to move the images or videos to a private album. Let me just select a few images or videos here. Now I'll tap on more button and you can see we have got this option move to private album. Let me tap on private album. Now these images are moved to private album. Now the private album will be visible right here on the menu button. You can see when you tap on menu, we've got private album right here. Tap on that and you will have to use your pin or your uh, fingerprint to enable this. Let's open this private album. As you can see, all those four files that I have just uh, transferred to private album are visible right here. This is a very handy feature. Uh, if you want to lock the album, you can lock the album as well. But if you want to create a private album, you can do that as well. So this is a pretty cool option for those of you who want to create a private album. You can of course lock an album within the gallery application, but now we have got private album option as well. So that is the beauty of Samsung's One UI. We have got uh, multiple different ways to execute a specific function and the features are just fantastic. Now let's go ahead, let's go ahead and check out the next option. That's under the battery settings. Let's go to the uh, settings here, tap on battery, and we have got battery protection. Let me tap on this. Now on One UI 8, Samsung did revamp this. Now we have got this option basic, and while this basic is active, we can also enable adaptive protection. So what this does is, uh, basic, when your battery is charged to 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95%, and then charging will start again. So uh, once it drops to 95%, the charging will start again. But if you enable adaptive protection, what happens is if you're, let's say, if you're sleeping and uh, if you're plugged in your phone for charging, then the battery will charge up to 80%, and before you wake up, it will go up to 95% or let's say 100%. Uh, and then it'll drop down to 95% if you've already woken up in the morning. So that's pretty cool. That's a very nice feature actually. Earlier we could only use basic or we can use, we could use adaptive protection. But now while the basic is set up, if you're charging your phone during the daytime, then the basic will be active. If you're charging the phone during the nighttime uh, while you're sleeping, then the adaptive protection will also be activated and your phone's battery lifespan will definitely improve with this kind of a setup. So go ahead, enable your basic and enable adaptive protection as well if you are someone who charge your battery during your night time. The next thing you might want to do on your One UI 8 is enabling call captions. This is a brand new feature and it's going to be very, very useful for a lot of you guys out there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the phone application and let me tap on three dot button and tap on settings. And this is where you will see call captions. Just tap on this. What this does is this will show what each person says on the screen during calls. Captions can be useful when hearing is difficult. If needed, inform the other person that the call is being captioned. So if you have got any hearing issues, if you're not able to hear the other person's voice clearly, then definitely you can make use of this uh, particular feature. You'll be able to see the conversation in text right there on your second screen. When you swipe towards the right, you'll be able to see all the text right there. It might also be useful in some situations where it's noisy. Uh, you may not be able to hear the other person's voice. In that case, you can use voice translation. The phone will show you in the form of text what the other person is saying, and you'll also be able to see your conversation there. So pretty cool feature. You should go ahead and enable this. Now, if you're someone who love gradient wallpapers, you have got something very cool on One UI 8. Samsung has added dynamic gradient wallpapers now on your uh, Galaxy phones One UI 8. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the wallpaper settings here and I'll tap on change wallpapers. Scroll down, we have got colors here. Now earlier we had these solid colors, which actually looks pretty cool, but now we have got two options, two dynamic options, which are gonna be very nice. Let me select one of the dynamic options here. I'll not set it to lock screen. I have got a lock screen wallpaper already and I've got the home screen here. I set it to home screen, let me tap on next. And now you can see this is the dynamic uh, wallpaper where the colors will keep changing 
the entire day you will see different colors and different uh, gradient effect here on this wallpaper. You can also change the style if you want. You can see we have got four different styles here. You can see it's already changing here uh, from different colors and you can select the one that you want here. Now let me just set it up this way and tap on done. Now this color will keep changing on the home screen. It's a dynamic wallpaper, a dynamic gradient wallpaper. And on the lock screen, I have set up a beautiful wallpaper. This is the pyramid wallpaper that I set up. This wallpaper is from our own application, Volvers. If you haven't downloaded Volvers application yet, you should go ahead and download it. The link is in the description. The app offers some beautiful collections, some beautiful free and pro uh, premium wallpapers. Uh, I think you should go ahead and check it out if you haven't done it already. And if you like the application, do not forget to rate it five star. That will definitely encourage me to keep coming up with a lot of new wallpapers for you guys. I keep updating the application with at least 10 to 20 wallpapers every day almost. So uh, I would really appreciate if you can rate the application if you like the application. That's about it. These are some features which I wanted to talk about in this video. These are certain things that you need to do once you get one UI 8. Let me know if there are any additional features or additional things that you want to enable after getting one UI 8. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn about your devices if you want to stay updated with new features new updates tips and tricks etc then this is the channel you need to subscribe to so go ahead hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button as well the more likes we get the more people will get to see this video because youtube algorithm will push this video to many more people so go ahead hit the like button as well thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye